Let's see. Well, usually we, uh, um, um, this session, we usually listen to some recordings and hear what you think of them. So um, we'll go ahead and get started and uh, people will jump on as, as we, you know, as we go along. So uh, Miss Marion, Bay Dot Sai, can you get us started? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Dot. Oh. Mm. Oh, so story I know what it means. Oh, dog e. Monday, angel, a son. Go, go, get going, go, go. Take go, pay dog. Ain't the key. Go, son, dog. Go, dog, yeah, eat more, eat more. Go, go, hold on, get, get, oi. Don't get, get, oi. Ah, get so. But, more, Stay, they go, dot, hold day. Obey your higher, yeah, dot, oh. Hold on. They go, on a time, a good son, but, go. On it, he take dog. Go in on the key. Ain't the key, he got so long. He take ya. Eight more, he more. Go, go it, don't get a get peak ya. Go, go it, don't get a get good. They told it. Hi, y'all. He got eight more, he more. Don't, yeah, boy, but boy, it's all. Ain't on the key. They call me, get all quiet, don't. They were, get all quiet, good boy. Don't call, get more, hey, got to get all quiet, good boy, hey, boy. No, sir, I don't. No, key, no more key, ain't talk, got they on the young high, get all. Go good go. They giggle go. Go tie do. I'm fellow. A good on the phone. The outside fellow. They on the he. Get a girl on the top. Go call to dog a he. On the he call. Dog e. I hold it and all. Go to tie do. They he double. They he. On the dot side, dot go. A hoy. Dot tie. A ho day. Oba. A ho. Oba. A ho. Thank you so much, Miss Marion. Mm hmm. Dork, I could almost cry. Oh. Me, they all talk. <laughs> yeah. They go, um, so long, you know. Hang on, eh? No. You get along with some. So lock it up. Well, it's a good thing that you had a lady, um, one of your relatives that could do beautiful songs, you know.
That was a blessing to the people to have been able to sing. Oh. Because we, we don't have many of our people that sing a lot or, you know, know the songs. And I think that was like a, maybe a lesson to the younger ones that they should continue with learning our kind of songs and participate. And so that's something that I think is very positive that she then left behind for the younger ones, especially in her family, to think about. Because it's a, a singing is such a beautiful thing. And I think people should sing each day. My grandpa used to say, people should sing every day, especially the men. Because it just makes a person feel happy. But then there are lots of songs too that are actually just prayers. I just uh, think about their beautiful voices. And those are, you know, good thoughts, good memories. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's something. That uh huh. Uh huh. Singing our, singing our Kiowa songs, especially. And even there was this elder lady. Well, of course, I was a teenager. And she always sang so clear, and I guess you people would say loud. <laughs> But I thought, and I would ask her, I said, how can you sing, you know, like that? And she would say, sing every day. <laughs> because she would just, <clears throat> her voice would just, you know, carry. And I thought that was really great. <clears throat> oh, yeah, definitely. Um you know what was really special this year? Um, so I used to sing behind the drum with my grandma, my grandma Ruth, and then with my aunt, Aunt Buki, uh -huh. and uh, and then I had kids. And for, you know, and everyone kept uh -huh. telling me, come sing, come sing. And so uh, this past, uh, this summer at Gord Clan, uh, Aunt Buki was sitting there in her spot. And then she said, Melody, bring your girls. Come on over here. And so she had everyone clear a spot for us, and we sat <laughs> behind the drum with her. And uh, mm -hmm. so we were singing, me and me and my four mm -hmm. girls. So I told the girls, yeah. I said, "Well, I guess it's our turn. We better, we better sing. Better practice all those songs." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. That's right. Just have to keep it up oh. and practice. Definitely. Let's... Pronunciation of the words too in the songs. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. Let's see which uh, recording would we like to listen to. I'm gonna pull up the file here. What uh? Let's see what looks good here. So we listen to this one, the number eleven, and then let's see. Mm -hmm. You want to pick one, Miss Marion? Just call one out, and then we'll uh see what it. Sounds like now this one about um there was one about horses. What is that? Oh yeah, right here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me. Oh, hey, there's Grandma Martha now. On day, on day. 
Um, oi, bon, Grandma Martha. Uh, hi, I just now got that message in the mail. So <laughs> I'm <laughs> opening up this thing. Oh. So. We have a, so we did our opening prayer and then we're, we're just looking at the recordings. And so we have Grandma Dorothy is uh, there driving, but she's listening in. And then uh -huh. Miss Marion and you. So we were just going to uh, listen to this recording about horses. Oh, okay. So let me pull it up here. Okay, let me see if y'all can hear it. If you want to be able to walk into a room and get this exact, exact uh, 14. Grandmother's taking 1970. Okay, can you hear that? Yes. I gotta turn my sound up. <laughs> oh. Well, I can turn my let me see. I'll I'll turn mine up all the way and see. I know sometimes it gets distorted. Okay, how's this? It's the home of George Puyadori, session 14. Can you hear that okay? Some of yeah, but I might mine has turned down since yesterday. So let me put oh. mine to you. <laughs> okay. From the Indian program, I turned it down. So let me Okay. Awesome. Hi oh, Courtney. On day on day aim oi bon. Oh, on day on day. That's good. Yeah. Oh. We're just getting started. Uh, We're gonna listen to a. Uh, uh, this uh, Kiowa Culture Program number 14, it says horses. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, um, all right. Uh, we have uh, Miss Marion, Grandma Dorothy, uh, Grandma Martha now, and, and us. So we'll uh, go ahead and see what this is all about. So, ah, uh, cool. People are present today, George Cunadori, Humble Chief, Lloyd, Lloyd Toyball, James Silverhorn, Esther Topar, Angeline, <laughs> Frank Somte, Stephen Hall, Yale Spotted Bird, Wilson, uh, Vincent Spotted Bird and Sue Nelson Big Bowl. And uh, today, discussion. We are also we have uh, Hazel Bolton. And at this time, uh, the discussion will be about a horse. Horses. How useful they are to our people. At this time, uh, that's one of our uh, tribal spiritual leader of the Ten of Medicine Bones, James Silverhorn. Ah, cool. Thought that boy could keep that shark at come. That shark gum can do. Okay, I pause it really quick. Uh, I know uh, Mr. James Silverhorn speaks really fast, but do any of you want to comment on the prayer?
I think he spoke so quick, I'd have to listen to it again. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. Martha, did you catch anything? No, because I just turned tuning up my sound here when he was talking already, and I, I missed most of what he said. Mm -hmm. You want me to rewind it? Yes, because I didn't even get to hear most of it. Okay, let me see if we can. It was pretty short, too. So, Was it a prayer, or was he just talking? I thought he said he was giving the prayer, but let, let, me, let me go back. Yeah. Uh, the discussion will be about a horse. Horses. Mm -hmm. How useful they are to cover people. At this time, uh, there's one of our uh, tribal spiritual leader of the Ten Minutes and Bones, James Silverhorn. I caught down the boy who keeps the door shut, kept going. The door shut, going to get him to the dock. We can't take him. So I'm going to get him out of the dock. I'm going to get him out of the dock. I'm going to get him out of the dock. I come and go to the moon, I saw the key, I got the gun, I have to don't take. I've been on the gun, I've got the moon, who me don't take it, for a thing, I don't know, I get to the key, who loved it, I'll get to go, I'll get to the cook a peep, pay on the gun, I don't, I'll be to the moon, I get on the gun, I get to not to shot the door, I get to the gun. You know, they don't take it, they don't get all the time, they don't take it on 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 the time. Yeah, no, he, what did he say? Mm -hmm. Did you catch anything? Uh, what I heard him there, he he kind of like was doing a wintertime prayer, talked about the weather and the prayer, and talked about the uh, mm -hmm. people as they progressed and were growing. And he said, um, uh, mm -hmm. what is it? He was praying for good things for the people. Um. Uh, because he mm -hmm. said things now are Maui Bay, which is kind of like, kind of, you know, kind of a little bit rugged or rough for people. Maui Bay is kind of, it's not a good thing. That's what mm -hmm. I got out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. It was a very short prayer, though. Yeah, that's probably one of the shortest ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -ho. Um, Miss Marion, did you want to add anything? Were you able to catch it? Well, I agree with Martha on what she said. And he says, ah, God placed us here and we grew up here and our Indian ways were losing them, they're fading away. But he said we work and you know, we get things done, you know, it's difficult. And yet, um, they are able to okay, work through the difficult times. And so that's just addition to what Martha said. Oh. First comment was our, our father placed us here, gave us his place. Talked about the creator. Okay, that's it. Hold the hope. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Um, uh, cool. Let me press play. I think you said it's Mr. Uh, Melody. Hande. It's me. Oh. I, had the, I had the privilege of hearing <laughs> James Silverhorn. It's Bessie Spotter. Mm -hmm. That was his style of praying. He talked very fast, but he was so legible. You could understand every word he was saying. Mm -hmm. And he was the keeper of four or five of our bundles at one time. And many, many people went to him with mm -hmm. prayer. 
and he was he was so good when uh, they all were. But this, uh, I had the privilege to hear mm -hmm. him in person, and he covered everything in no time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. And he was, he was a very, very, well, they all were. It just kind of knocks me out to hear them talking so plain. When and me included, mm -hmm. all of us are stumbling it and poor thing. They could just finish that with such finesse. I hope we I hope we reach that point. Oh Obaho. Obaho. Oh, aho, Grandma. All right. Uh let me press play. And I think you said it's uh Mr. Toybo is gonna be the first speaker here. Toybo will do the discussion on the box of horse. He's full of the horse. Ah, oh, cool. Going up, going low on E. Now, Kawa people in past time traveled by foot, and after this time, time after that came in possession of horses. They really didn't tell how the horses were gotten. Horses knew the different style in the horse sense. James Silverhorn. Um, Grandma Martha. Um, okay. Um, what's him? That was Mister Toybo. He talked first, and he was talking about the old times. And he said a word, common word, in that I didn't get. I wish I did. But he said that one word, I couldn't hear it. But he was talking about old times and how people were traveling around. And he talked about the horses and how they acquired them. He said he didn't know how they got them. But they got those horses. And he kept saying they were Moakume, um, Moakume which means they were very valuable mm. and helpful, I guess, to the tribe. So, um, he, and it's, it's not like he said they were trained, too. They were already trained. They weren't wild horses or anything. And then he quit talking. And then the next speaker came on and talked about just 
few seconds, horses in different styles, but he didn't go any further. And that's where it stopped. But I I missed that first word that that <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> Outgoing meanings, it's, they were very helpful and valuable. Martha, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'll put it. It's saying my sound's not good or something. Yeah, there was a part in there that um, I missed. There's a couple of words. Mm -hmm. A little sentence before, yeah, Malkuime, that before yeah. he said that. Yeah. It was short. I wonder if we could hear it again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I missed that right there. Mm -hmm. I did too. I the same thing. He has some good words, though. Mm -hmm. Well, he said he didn't know how they got a uh, walk or Whatever. Echo ball. Echo ye. That part I missed it. Some kind of cat going ball. He had a little some word in front of it. I can't hear it. Echo. Yeah. He says difficult. Uh, yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's different. Different. So. Yeah. Just before he said that. Mm -hmm. I didn't get Before he said it was. Words I I didn't get that down. Yeah, I missed it too. And then before he said Gamma Gulime was the other part. Mm -hmm. I yeah all day. I'm getting I get I get I didn't know yeah. the half. <laughs> we probably need to hear that part again too. <laughs> <laughs> what a zangal I hate it. That's a funny word. <laughs> Thing to say. I don't think anybody would understand what that meant. Uh -oh. I wish I had heard that very first. You know the half. Well, the guy, <laughs> the guy, mm -hmm. well, the guy was set that long time ago. You don't mm -hmm. know the half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm good boy. <laughs> yeah, I guess our sound must have gone off. Something. Is that Melody? Are you there? Uh, yeah. Hey, do. I get it. Do things in a good way. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. I got a phone call. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, making uh, arrangements. Um, okay, so. Let's... You know that part where Mr. Toybus first started talking? Uh huh. Both Mary and I missed that first word completely. 
Okay, let me uh, people, let me but... rewind it back. Uh, let's see. Okay, to... Where are you talking? Yeah. Okay, to where he starts. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Two forty-five, and then uh, um, it, I know it sounds like with this recording, uh, what's it? Is that Nelson that's uh translating, or uh -huh. who is it that's translating? I'm not sure who that man is. Okay, but yeah, I don't know if he translates okay, all of it. Or... <laughs> oh, okay, Yale. All right, let me oh, yeah. uh, go back oh. to Mr. Toibel. Um, okay, uh, I think this is it. Mm -hmm. Lord Toibel will do the discussion on the month of horse. He's full of the horse. <laughs> Ah, cool. Going up, going low on E. Going low, toy. On how we get on there, hey. Hey, hey, go try it, go. Hey, fall, hey. Hey, hey, fall, get go. How about it, son, get the horn, get I go high, go. Hey, God, I'm all the time, get go on to me, go. Hey, fall, hey. Hey, more boy, man, hey. Hey, more dog. Hold the pot's eye, get going more time, dog. Hey, go on, I'll tell you. Go on, I'll say, get going more time, dog. I am going to my head. I am Okay. Uh, Grandma Martha? That was a little better, but I'm not quite sure what that word means, Dad, anyway. Um, that first, word? that first word that he starts with, he says, uh, oh, he said, what was that first word, Marion, that he said? He called the people that. He said, oh, um, and he said, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, you want to hear it again? Because I can pull it up. Is it going to I think he's talking about I think he's talking about the kind of that we Yeah, uh, you know, we were like around around. Uh -huh. I told you. Mm -hmm. I think he said we walked at that point. Yeah, so I got a little bit more out of that second recording. But uh, I still need to hear it again one more time. Yeah. Okay. Short. Yeah, it's short. Yeah, it's only like a, a minute. So, yeah. okay, here's the beginning. Lord Tarbo will do the discussion on the bus of horse. He's full of the horse. Ah, cool. Go look at the wall on E. Go on, I told you. Go on, get going, 
कौन क्या कौन Did he say something about on key? Yeah, that means a long time ago. You know, like in the past. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to think about that. Is Dorothy still on here? Does she could tell us about that gonk at Goma? She's she's she'll be here oh, in just a second. Okay. She oh. just ran into the store. I'm listening for her right now. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could help y'all. <laughs> I think she might know that one word. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. She, yeah, she'll be back in just a little bit. Okay. Let me uh rewind it again. Okay. You know what? Oh, well, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Miss Mary. No, go ahead. Play it. No. Mm -hmm. Lord Tarbo will do the discussion on the bus the horse. Who's full of the horse? Right. Okay. Let's Ah, oh, cool. Gonk at Gonwan E. Gonwatoi. All have a gown there. Uh, God say God. A ball. Ay ay ball get go. Have a chance get the on get I go I go. They got at all they say get go on to me go. A ball. Hey, more boy, man, hey. Hey, more dog. Old Patsy, get going more time, dog. Hey, go on, I'll tell you. Go on, I'll say, get going more time, dog. Say more, Okay, so I got most of that, but I, I still don't know what, what that really word, that first word means. What's that her? Uh, so what he said was... I think he was talking about... Okay. Okay, right. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ma. Okay. Okay. The main gist of his uh, talking is he's talking about these Iowa people, I guess, in their, tra in their travels. They acquired those horses, but he said they didn't know how they got them. But uh, they, uh, when they got those horses, uh, they were considered to be very valuable. And those horses were trained. You know, they didn't have to break them or nothing like that. Uh, it seemed like he said the Kiowas had that horse knowledge already. They knew how to deal with them. That's what I think it is. But I don't know what that first word is. Oh. Um, so that identified, I think it kind of put it together. Put it together. Do you want me to rewind it to the beginning again to see if we can hear it again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Is uh, Grandma Dorothy there? Not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, uh, let us know when she uh, is available, and then we'll uh, play this word again for her. Okay. She, okay. she ran in the store real quick, so she'll be out okay. in a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
Go ahead, Miss Marion. Okay, I'll play this recording. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Discussion on the bus, the horse, who's full of the horse. Ah, oh, cool. Going up, going over an E. Going over a toy. I love it, get on the head. Okay. Did you catch it? He said, Ah, oh, cool. Me, at Kong Ba, um, on key, which means a long time ago. <clears throat> but I actually never heard that like that, that word about describing the people. So that's why I was confused. She could help us with it. And then it just goes on to acquiring the horses. Well, you have the word in June. Oh, gone, 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 I saw by many people, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm missing what that first word means, man. Oh, yeah, go. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Seems to me that word he's using like saying overall the people, like the Kiowas. That word, gone, cat, go. Yeah. Very unhappy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh my God. How long ago? No, I told you they walked on the earth. And then he says, Hey, God saying, the horses they acquired, they appear, they walked. I don't know where they came from, but they were used like to carry old pups. Uh, saying, which means they carried the luggage or the baggage. Oh, he treated them well. They treated the horses well. Mm -hmm. But of course, I, there's some other words too that I went over before. Like I said, it's a valuable horse. Miss Marion, did you say he said Gyamaguime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're valuable? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mar yeah. 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 Definition. Oh, God. Uh, um, they're more gooey, maybe, and say very valuable for them. Mm -hmm. so, can yeah, you say, yeah, or a more gooey, maybe? A talking about those horses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he said it twice in his talk. He's saying, yeah, more. Yeah, that's him on gooey me as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, he. Oh, did you mix that? Oh, 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 hi. Oh, hi, sir. Oh, hi, sir. They carried the burdens, they carried the old one. 
Miss Marion, um, Honda mm. Imsaito. Did you say what well, how did you say he uh he said they were used to carry the stuff? Did you say Oral Pa Sain? Oh pa sain. That's what he said. Oh pa. Sounds like you tied your bundles to the oh, horse. Pa. Oh pa sain. Okay. Tie. Yeah. Tie. You know, right, Martha? Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. We tie something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, means your belongings, and then pa is to tie it. Yeah. Pa. Pa. Yeah. Oh, pa. Okay. Same. Oh, yeah. Oh, pa. Same. Oh, pa. Same. Horse. Yeah. That's oh. a bundle tied horse. It's like they call us pack horses. Yeah, horse you tie your bun. Like pack horses. Okay. Yeah, you know, like that. that. That's the idea. Yeah. But he's, to me, this he's talking about, you know, the, the French or Travoy, where they always say they carry the loads yeah. higher. Oh. Yeah. The horse. Oh, awesome. Um and your yeah. old your old is your handbag. Your stuff. <laughs> your bag. Old beam coin. Mm -hmm. Old beam coin. Oh. Old. Oh. Your bag uh, for oh stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your personal <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh. look, look under your old. Did you say, uh, Miss Marion, in the beginning when you were uh, saying right after that word that we're trying to translate, you said, Did you say, Domba Atoyi? No, Atoyi. Don't so he's talking about first the mm, Kiowas walked, ago. they walked everywhere, and then they got horses to carry stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Awesome. I'm trying to take some notes. Yeah, but there's a longer story behind that. But before that, they they used dogs. And so the horse took the place of the dog. Mm -hmm. oh. Because the dog was the same pine, little pine. See, this dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But then you got seen this other one. But regardless, they walked. The first mode of transportation are your two feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> awesome. Do you want me to open the glossary and see if we can find? It's kind of coming in. Me, that just means everything. Like just people. That's what it means. Echo means like your brain. Is it kind of like everyday people? people? Yeah. Everybody. Mm -hmm. He's speaking in general terms right there. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Going, get, going, go. Means everybody. Mm -hmm. Good Both Kaiwas. Because uh, he didn't yeah. say uh, Goy. Get, go, mm -hmm. he, no. He's gone. It, no. Gone. Get, go. said, gone. Gone. Yeah. So maybe just generalizing and put on people all in one pot or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back, back. Gone, get, go. 
Home means people. Oh, you never heard that word, get going on. Martha, you hear Martha. that word, get going on, dog. Get going, get going. Gone hard, dog. Get going, going on, dog. Yeah. Get gone hard, dog, means there was a lot of people there. Yeah. See? There? Get going, yeah. get going, dog. Means everybody. Mm -hmm. Could be, yeah. Could be. Mm -hmm. So he's speaking in the general, like saying he's not just he's yeah. covering all the kindness when he says that. Yeah, that's that going on. Yeah, you said it put him up down. There's a lots of people. Oh, when I say, get gone hard, oh, that means that there was a bunch of people there at one place. Mm -hmm. Gone hard. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's probably saying everybody in this case or something. Yeah. Everyone says that. Did he say, uh, on ego? Yeah, he talked about it a long time ago. All these people a long time ago, mm -hmm. and how they travel. I think so. Was, he started, mm -hmm. and then eventually oh. they acquired those horses. He doesn't know how they got them, but they they did acquire them, and that these horses were already you know trained to be used. They didn't have to do all that. And it seemed like he said they kind of had a sense of mm -hmm. horse knowledge, you know. Uh-huh. That was part of it too. He said treat them well. Treat them good. Treat mm -hmm. the horses well. Yeah, because they were useful. Very useful. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, go. Be good to your horse. Oh. Marion, what is that word they used to say uh when they're talking about something and it was to me, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but they would say um Gondama, Gondama, when they're talking about somebody. Oh. They just kind of say that old person over there. But <laughs> it all sounded kind of derogatory that to me. Can use that. Well, it's, yeah. It go. <laughs> Is go it Gondama on. or Gondaki, you know? It's like that person over there that's talking oh, about. Oh. That's another way to use that word, but it's a totally different meaning when you use yeah. it that way, but it's more like a derogatory. Yeah, I thought it was. And he's, yeah, it's more like a, so it has nothing to do with get gone. Uh, yeah. Yes, but the way, yeah, when you say somebody is uh, oh, gone, today, gone. I guess the English word would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard that. It always sounds like it's kind of what? Yeah, I'm talking to those people when they say on the mom, she did something or something like that. <laughs> yeah. They're, it's like a put down. Yeah. Put down well, so ask ask Dorothy that. English. We'll ask Dorothy that when she comes on. <laughs> Which word is that? That gondoma or gondoki. Gondoma. Male or female? Oh, they say gone ma too. Yeah, it, and it always seems like a put down when they're talking about that person to me. And it, it's like there's people got no sense or something. Yeah, <laughs> that one over there or something like that. You know that, that kind of thing. You're talking about somebody. Can be said in a joking way, but it's also used in a. No, kind of a derogatory put down. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. It always did. <laughs> so we got strange oh, words. Like strange words in our language. <laughs> but they're equivalent to the English when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Going, keep going about. So this just sounds like everybody. These are old words. You don't hear them anymore. Oh, good words. 
Yeah. I'm looking in the glossary to see if yeah, that got gone my phone. Like everybody. Is that would you say that's the translation? Is everyone? That's what I'm thinking. Would that start with a like a, a strike through G? Do you think? How would you spell that with the modified Mackenzie? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't find a word for everyone in the, let's see, uh, maybe you said gone. Well, that's a different, different word. Gone. And you say everyone, it would be day, day, hoy. Day, day hoy. or day goat. Yeah. Word. Oh. That day, hoy. That, day um, goat is relatives. Day, hoy. Day, hoy is all of them, right? Mm, yeah. Day, hoy means all of them. And just like we said while we go again, down high. Oh. Go, go. No. Everybody's there. Everybody. Go on, get yeah, going high, go. Oh, God. That's lots of people. Yeah. On Kekongba. On Kia Toi. Gone, gone. So it's just K A. K A. A nasal N or something like that. Let's see. Going so going. Go, go. Well, I'm not really finding anything in the glossary that could help. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Let's see.
Okay, so let's see. Uh, should we go ahead and uh, continue playing? I wrote down the timestamp for this word so we could play it when Grandma Dorothy gets on. But should we uh, continue on? Oh. Okay, let's see here. The next speaker, yeah. Oh, okay, let me share my screen again. Okay, let me skip ahead. I think it was like four something after he uh, was translating. Ah, Talk by Louis Tarbo. Now, Kawa people in past time traveled by foot, and after this time, Time after that came in possession of horses. They really didn't tell how the horses were gotten. Horses knew the different style in the horse sense. Hey, James Silverhorn. Dome <laughs> Now, Kawa people in years past traveled by foot. Later years came in possession of horses, hunting and other ways. They can be used, the horses. Okay, next we've got Tom Little Chief. Well, that was pretty fast. <laughs> he he kind of explained it. It's like he's saying what they said. Yeah. Was there any uh Kiowa words specifically from uh James Silverhorn's speech? Not really. I think he was just kind of translating the English. He was repeating it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'll play the next one. Okay. Louis go. James said, don't get that to. Hayek, Hayek, pay the kid, don't get the end, get tense on care. On e, get down on a hole, but don't go, get down, make your cooling up there, get down, make your cooling up there, get down, make your cooling up there, get tense on the hill, go, 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 take a ball head, go, how to a ball, get the horn, get. Hi on hi, go neck. Hey go. A cold more cool by head tank. I go men to Zan, the little. 
tehon te kuinka soitte, haja amoto, haja emoto, te kosoitte, asen. A kokea ujoke dome te eko, eko to guto ko adon banma, adon sade. I pay to get doctor, how I cook it doctor, and go pipe pay to get dominate, and how I get dominate. More on off for her, get daughter, and saying, come on, moon eight day, oh, God, at all, and out a great calm, or that give you. Go pay her, moon, I own get saying, come on, saying, get ton, but got a great. Eikä <tos> Ei ole kedote en me koppaha, kedote en kotsen koko paha, haja ei et oo ja paha. Kop hova aki on me kotsen haja käyttö, kun me kop oit. Ko ojo ko ei toa, kotsen keit oo ja ki kok uut kuut ko kop hoi kao. Oh, mä kysy paasa. Kun kävi kaikki iä ja kohjo kaikki, että on sen takia kohjo kaikki on sen kaikki. Emme kaa kätens odomme kaiku batun batunke on ikä domme te ohjo alit alto te kohjo kalit te. Paga koik jat omon kongone, nen, ego, ego, okkoudut sen oi heille. Pau, tu manne tuoi, oi, ei muu voi me. Van men, te ego koudu oi heille. Te ego, te koin, you know, the generation, te koin. My folks Okay, I was trying to figure out where to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it switched speakers, but then I was see. listening for the English. So, um, but was that whole thing, Tom Little Chief? I think that last one. I think he said Tom Little Chief at the beginning. Mm -hmm. What did he say? Um, Hanya Haiga. <laughs> he talked for like five minutes, but um, Grandma Dorothy. Hi. Uh, huh. Okay, so we have a question on a word that Mr. Toibo says in his speech, and we wanted they wanted to run it by you to see if you you knew what it meant. Okay, let me see. Okay, so let me rewind it. Okay, ah, uh, cool. Lord Toibo will do the discussion on the month of horse. The horse. Okay. Melody, you no, repeat no. it to me. Oh, yeah, go oh, on E. Go oh, on Okay. So it's that uh that first couple of phrases. Uh Grandma Martha Nell, do you wanna repeat it? Um okay, when he starts out he says, um and we're trying to figure out what that means. 
Yeah, I have too. And Connie, I've even heard oh, that. That's true. But... <laughs> so yeah. what y'all think about just saving that and then see what the others say? Yeah. Um, or did show I think that's a, a, I've heard that. Yeah. But I could, I'm just I could, trying to say. I could see the I people. I was just I trying to say the yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's the way mm -hmm. I hear it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he was he he was up in age when he was doing that, and sometimes his his words come out kind of slow. Mm -hmm. And he's he was the man though, and that was Tom Little Chief. I think he was the main speaker. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Louis Torba, Louis. Yeah, Louis Torba. Mm -hmm. so, this what, word gong uh, still to me it means all the time well, it's just another way of saying yeah all the people but the way you use that one word yeah, yeah. oh and okay, I, okay. I, okay. when I refer to us I say gong mm -hmm. yes We're the right. Yeah. Right. And right. make sure make sure those are pumped, mm -hmm. you know. And that you know, that makes the Kaiwa language. That's what makes us so unique. I think what y'all think, you two guys. And the old time I when I hear it talking. Oh, oh they talk, you know. Yeah. So long, you know. When they own it, that get caught on my hate. Can't they get back? But don't they go get on ya? When they own it. I feel accomplished, you know, because just hearing these other people talk, it, it makes me proud. Mm -hmm. I say, hey, they ain't on my God, on my. And look, he learned from birth. Miss Grandma Caroline, Miss Grandma uh, Martha. I've never been, he's been talking Kiowa since I can remember <laughs> when I first met him. And if you produce that, and then look who else earned theirs, that's pretty proud, I think. We can boast of that. I still haven't heard any of the other tribes talk their learned language yet. I wish we could have a gathering and do some sampling. Yeah. Or something just to see what we accomplished. Mm -hmm. um, I will say that, um, I don't know, a melody, have you seen that movie about the American buffalo? It's My son did. Vaughn, well, not yet. I heard it's a good one, though. Yeah, it's a three-hour documentary, and I taped it when it first came on because I couldn't be there to listen to it. And later I played it, and I was surprised there was a lot of Kiowa involvement in it right away. You know, and it's, there's not so much the other tribes. Later they mention it, but they were pretty prominent in it. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I think I think the Kiowa tribe is the they're the pathfinders in all of that. Yeah. And we're oh. emulated so much. And I can see writings of all of you guys and pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. So oh. Melody, you could decide what you know, tell them and Write it down and we can go to go on with it till we find out for sure. Oh, yep. I wrote down some notes here so we can go back to it later on. Mm -hmm. Okay with me. Uh -huh. ah. Okay, let's see. I think no. oh, one day. Oh. oh okay. I think we were at uh Tom Little Chief just got done speaking. So let me fast forward to, I think that was 10 minutes in. Here's the end of it. 
Same as uh, Lewis and Jim Silborn. Many years ago, <coughs> Kyle was somehow had horses which were used for transportation, war journeys, probably from the south, uh, from Mexico, uh, the, the horses came from. Some way they came to, to have horses. Sometimes horses were lost and became wild horses. And somehow the horses were caught again. One man was outstanding to own more horses than the other cow men. Next uh, would be Hazel Botong. Angle. Yeah, you get those on my good sign, baby. Get hands of the book, yeah, you bad dog. You go get pale to high, get up. No, no, my you be doddy. You go get pale by go go. Have it on the hill, or they go get him on me. Get on the all, let's say go. Book, say go, do give it. Do conde de goit ho to go. Ma yu pato de go ki get ta ta imo go. Get ha po mo get ta o mo conde haya. Emo po ta ko koi goit do gale go. O yu gale. Eight on go mon go de conde. Hey, yeah, yeah. San dot or the haya the tayakuya picked out it so you gone there you get more hope. Oh, go to yak echo, my day. Hon the gigado could say haya more oi me, hon the haya echo one more oi, though they go. My ye though they go about so long as saw the pie go play. My you pal. Go san ki go e go o yo go al e go taya ku le go e mo ku e mo o yo go al de su lo e go pel to ki do do e go ya to san hon ya do bo ha e go ha ya hon de do ki ne go su lo e to do. Okay. Okay. Grandma Martha Nell, do you wanna? Make any comments on Hazel Botone's speech? Yeah, she's just talking about the men talking about those horses. Uh, she said, um, what did she say about them? She said, she had a couple of words in there. Um, I'm not sure I had it right. But anyway, um, she talked about the women's involvement in it. And she said, it sounded like she said when they killed those horses, they talked about getting the meat from there. And um, talked again about um, horses being very valuable. And the women worked uh, on acquiring some of that stuff for their daily life, I guess. Um, and that's about all I got out of it. The first listening. <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Marion, do you want to add anything? To me, she said, for the men seen, they, they, oh, the men acquired the horses and uh, get fatal though. Yep. They look like she's thinking about these things. And um, she's talking about when they kill the animals, well, the horses were, I guess, used to round up the whatever. Maybe, I think she was just speaking in general terms, like buffalo or deer, whatever they hunt. And the women, they took care of the meat, butchered the meat. And they had the hides, and she called it pot gal, yeah, which is like a uh, material to me. She's talked about the buckskin. And the women prepared all of that. And it was used for, she mentioned children, so I guess 
just kind of bringing different little topics there. But she said the women prepared all those things once they killed the animals. Okay. And she said, eight more hope. So that means, you know, making preparation. My eight more hope. Hope done. Eight more hope. Doing the preparations of the meat and the deer skins or whatever. I'm just kind of a general statement there. That's Omaha. That's it. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see. Um, Grandma Dorothy, do you want to add anything or you're not able to talk? Okay. Oh. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Andy. Okay, that was Hazel Bowtown. Let's see. We got about ten minutes left in this tape, so I'll go ahead and I think they're probably going to give the translation. So let's see what they say. Yeah. Also, hide for use to make uh, material. Nothing wasted. Grind meat or jerky was made for food. Is that uh, <clears throat> Esther? For your comment on a horse, please. Uh, angel, angel, my dog. Same baby, get those on. No, I'm all going my head on the table. Don't go and take on the table. I quit angle trying to go the hall to go up. I get high and hold on from the way go up. Go on, go on, go on, go on. High up a pine or the go up. Go on, go on, go on, go on. All of the gun to get the hall to go get. All the pine or the good thing about that dog, could he go get all that to it? Our boy, more good. I did pay to a girl. Tidy him, dog, tidy him more going, or could he go? All he get the hall to get all that to it. Thank you. Okay, that was Esther. Okay, well, she's again talking about that uh, same thing about the horses. And um, they used them when they moved on to places. And they came in that old pond, um, talking about, you know, you're tying up your valuables to it. And uh, they were value, very valuable, is what she said. Mainly, she didn't, she didn't have a whole lot to say on it. But they tied their to their belongings is what she was mainly talking about. Oh, mm -hmm. I hope. Uh, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Hmm. No, that was about the gist of it, I guess. She said the horses were oh. you know, used for travel. Same thing Martha said. And of course, use for old pine, hearing your loads, carry things. Good for traveling. Good for moving things. Oh my! Oh. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see what they say about her speech. Talk by us, Topai. Now the man folk talked about horses, uh, about uh, what they know more than women folks. Horses were used with poles tied on each side to carry their belongings. Which talk were we by Yale, Spotted Bird? His opinion about where the horses come from, the cow shop. Oh, 
Fire Bird. Get in good start out by a good white horse. Uncle Bert, he come on. And then my tongue's on. They all hear the, oh, the can't hear the old man to go. The oil to get up. And don't fall here. His family took him over and throw him money at Tahoe. The following year. He got shown up, he go pay, he go there. I go up a home on that sun. You all know, you go that that's that's where the that's where the, the power was. Got in possession of the horse. Okay. Um Grandma Martha now? Yeah. Ooh. He said a lot in his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think he was trying to give him the background on this man that visited, you know, like those Mexican people down there. And how he got the horse. Uh, he First he said it was a long way down there. And he, um, down by the Rio Grande is what he's talking about. Uh, and he, um, uh, the, the, uh, he went down and um, stayed there for a little while. He didn't just go down and come right back. And he, when he went down there, he told those people he didn't come down there to fight. You know, he said he just wanted to visit with them, I guess, and find out more about this. And that's where um, they had the horses. And eventually, when he got ready to come back, they let him take, I guess, a horse. And he came back to the Chicago people, and when they saw him, that was really a sight to behold, I think. And uh, when he got near there, he hollered, and they recognized him. And they saw uh, the horse. Um, and, th and then he told them the story of how they came there. And it seems like, to me, he went back. He took his family, and he went back down there to visit them, too. And that's what I got out of it. Oh, a who? Miss mm -hmm. Marion? <clears throat> uh, well, let me see. He said a long time ago, they used to, the coyotes used to live where the, where the water boils and there was uh, more, you know, but when you left that area, it was cold. So I think he was talking about the Yellowstone. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And then he was baked up or something like that. He's like he's afraid of the water. And he said he was gonna go by ye up by oh by the baby. Anyway, he was gonna take a trip. They didn't want him to go, but he left. And he said he was gonna go down there because he heard that it was uh different weather, it was warm. And he, so he traveled down, and the children played. He went to this place. They had no shoes on, and mm -hmm. they didn't wear shoes. So I guess it was kind of a nice weather, sunshine. And he said, I thought he mentioned he saw the Comanches near in there. I'm not sure that where it's yeah, yeah, the did. Comanches. He did he visit that place. Uh -huh. And then, uh -huh, he said, uh, he saw some horses and they gave him a horse when he was going to leave. And so he went back to the north or to, or to where the Kiowas were. And he took that horse and the people saw him coming in his distance and they saw him carrying that horse, uh, bringing the horse. And there was a lot of uh, welcoming him. And so... He told him about where he had been, and so next year he packed up his family and said he was going back to visit that area again. Mm -hmm. But that was supposedly the first horse, but okay. You probably can't take any this a quick summary. Oh, my. A good thing. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. well, that's awesome. Who were the names that he mentioned at the end? Did he say, he said, uh, Spotted Bird, White Horse, 
Bert Gigama. What was he referencing? I said Hyundai. What they listen to. <laughs> uh, I was just wondering what who why he was mentioning those names at the end of his speech. Is that who he heard the story from? You didn't hear it because you weren't there. Uh, I was in the grocery store, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Um he was telling the story, Grandma Dorothy, of uh I guess how Kiowa's got the first horse. Oh, yeah, there's so many different ones. I, I wish you could hear the one that uh, Dane and I were one time working on. Oh. The horse, you know. There's several different stories that I've heard. But different oh. ways. One of them, he's the Monkoi, even. He's a tornado. Mm -hmm. The horse. Oh. You'll know all this, but you know... Um, Dane and I were working on one where it started singing. They were making a plaster. They were shaping a horse and Kodede it starts singing. And there's a song and we were trying to decipher it. It'd be interesting to he's got he's got the copy. Oh. That's we really could, cool. Ask him when you talk to him, Melody. Oh, will do. All right. Anyone else want to add anything? Mm, no, there's a lot of stuff in there <laughs> that likes to well. Yeah, he talked for a while. <laughs> I, I think those names you were talking about, he mentioned, it sounded like he was saying that much later on they related the stories or something like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, let's see. I think there's like a couple minutes left here. Let's see what it, what they say. Uh, Stephen Hall, Tom Madden, also. There you go. Those are the way go. I don't get away go. I don't go. Can't you what I got? Those are the way go. No, I got those. No, I can't get the own key. Uncle Dodge and Chain going to get the what to get the over more coin. Higher bar, Maria Bar, go a cool power, but the book or a tire same. You're very quick. You're going to bar, mount the bar, but the book or a tire same. I call your bar, you're going to 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 Chain go down your own, get high together, and you get down your chain. Don't go cool, my chain. Don't be going to go to guy get down. Give the lay over the good chain, get down high together for the good. Don't get my mark on. Get out of the compound, get out of the guy, and the look your chain. Go to go with high together, don't get a kill, go to high together. So no, no, get down what they got, don't be at those animals, hold on. Oh no, but to get down, oh, come on, get down, then go. Then go, to get chain, go, I better chain, then go, no, yeah, I go, then go, yeah, you go, chain, get down, get more, go, man. I go, then go, then go, to get, I told him, I go, chain, get it, hook, to get it, pop. Ha, key, get on. So, good boy, then. Then go, 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 Chain call the dogger and more coinage air to get away from don't want to get up, told it over the bar of the door that you want to go. No, yeah, I get it. Okay, I think that was a Stephen Zotai Hall. Yes, oh, Grandma Martha, do you want to translate or whatever you'd like to share? You know, uh, he said a little bit too, and I didn't get all of it, but he said. He's talking about it and he said long ago he said they didn't have horses he said but eventually um they did get the horses and they were valuable and they uh, used them by traveling by wagon or they rode atop the horses he said both the girls and boys would ride on them and uh, not only in the daytime did they use them but even in the dark he said they knew how to get around on them manage them and again, he kept saying they were valuable. 
And he said uh, that they did kill the horses and used the meat and ate them, uh, which was just kind of strange to me because then I hear people in modern days eating horses, you know, with cattle. But anyway, that's what I got out of it. Oh, I uh, hope. Uh, Miss Marion? You know, I missed that because I stepped out for a second. Oh, okay. I missed that bus. You can tell me again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, looks like there's 13 seconds left on this. Let's see what it says. I guess that's the end of it. Cool. We made it through that one. <laughs> All right. Let me stop sharing that. Awesome. Well, let's see here. I wonder what the next one. Uh, let's see. That was uh, number 14. It looks like the next one uh Number 15 is on clans and sacred dances. That's what it says. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm excited that we got to finish a tape. Yeah. <laughs> usually, uh, usually we have to split them up through a few sessions. So nice. Um okay. Well, uh, with that, I guess it's about five o'clock. We could go ahead and close up. Um, let's see, uh, Grandma Martha now, can you close us out? Fade uh, outside. Okay. Oh, okay. get They on get Tom. Um. Hey. Um. Hey, do it. Um, go it on. Oh, hey, ma. Oh, go. Um, the tongue, the tongue, no, maybe, um, get, how to get on the door. Um, the Heavenly Father, we do thank you for helping us with them this high language and we hope that you continue to help us to get through this to help other people uh i want to say bless everyone that can participate and be here with us um and we do thank you for everything oh 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 all right awesome well i think that was a really good Good productive time. So, um, hega ba oi don ta ta. Hega ba oi bon ta. Have a good evening. Hega ga bon ta. Oh. <laughs> hey, Grandma Dorothy. Ah, guy, pogi. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> oh. <laughs>